Hey guys. So, um, I know it's been a while. Uh, it may not feel like a while to you guys because I've had my videos automatically upload and kind of spaced out, but I haven't made a video in probably a week, uh, give or take. We are, as you can tell, still in Charlotte and I'm sorry for the reflection in my glasses, but, um, I need the lighting so you can see me. So, but, um, we've been having a really hard time. Um, Brayden, his health has, you know, as you guys know, uh, it's not been the best in a long time and the doctors do not know why. Um, we are doing lots of tests, lots of treatments, lots of, lots of things. Um, and it's become really kind of difficult to keep track of everything. Uh, and so I've just kind of, I've not made a video, um, which like I said, you know, you guys probably won't notice that because of the, um, you know, the, the way that I have them spread out, but you'll see that instead of doing the videos like I had wanted to, we're doing a lot of sit down talking videos right now um, because we've not really been able to get out and do anything. Plus this trip is very costly. So we, you know, we can't really get out and do a lot of things. Um, we've been gone from the house for two and a half weeks now and we're looking at who knows how long, honestly, right now it's just kind of up in the air. Um, he has several appointments and things coming up. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys out of the loop because I know a lot of you follow me. And in fact, I've started noticing that some of you follow Braden's page on Facebook as well. So that's great. Thank you so much for that. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm really broke out. Um, stress has really taken over me. Um, I'm going to give an update on what I know right now um, as far as Braden. Uh, the doctors, the plans, the moving forward. Um, I've tried to answer all the Q&A questions individually in different videos. Um, I was going to make a big one, but it just didn't blow up the way that I thought it would. A few people did comment. So I have tried to answer them. Um, if you are seeing this video and I've not answered your question, you know, feel free to comment here and I will. Um, I think I've even tried to answer the comments you know, like un under the post, but, um, things have just been crazy lately. And I don't know, just like, if you do not have a child that has medical needs, please sit down for just a second and, and just think about how blessed you are. I know that's so hard to think about sometimes, like how lucky you are over things that you don't think about, you know, you don't really sit there and think about, oh, my child's like so healthy and I'm so lucky for that because, you know, and let, maybe unless you've not been in this situation, you wouldn't think to think about that. It's like one of those things, you know, that you don't think of to be thankful for. Um, I, me and my husband are living a nightmare right now. Brayden's living a nightmare. Um, not knowing what's going on. Uh, since Brayden was born, it's been rough. You know, as you guys know, if you follow my page, uh, his health has been all over the place. But for the past two years, it's been steadily declining. It's not went up. We've not really had any great improvements or anything like that. Um, so it, it's just been really hard and it is honestly a parent's nightmare to watch your child suffer. And, and then when you get to the point where the doctors don't even know what's going on, that's terrifying. And then you can't do anything about it. You just have to sit there and, and hope and pray for the best. So, um, I have hoped and prayed and cried and screamed and begged and pleaded. Um, and I know that things will happen. Um, it's just, it takes time, but I mentally, it's taking a toll on me. I'm not sleeping anymore. Uh, I'm very tired, very stressed. Uh, I have anxiety, as you guys know, I'm not shy about talking about that. Um, so this has not been an easy thing for me. It wouldn't be for any parent. Um, and I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm just like, you know, just kind of giving my side of things. Um, it is a struggle. It's hard to deal with. Um, and then I sit here and think, well, however long my husband's out of work, what does that affect with that? What's at home? Then when he does go back and forth, like, am I going to have to keep all the kids and try to take them to the hospital? Which by the way, um, that doesn't really work. They don't usually like that. Um, or is he going to have to take them home and try to take them to work or, you know, cause we don't have anybody to help us with that really. Um, like at all. So it's just a struggle between alternating the kids and what's going on and still trying to work and still trying to pay bills and still trying to take care of things. And, um, Brandon's insurance is still bucking at most everything. Uh, it's giving us a really hard time. 
we are having to pay out of pocket for a lot of things um which i mean we're like everybody else we're hurting right now just like everybody else is and so it's really limited us on what we you know can do the things that we're having to pay for we're having to co-pay pay for co-pays at every single appointment that he has um it, it's hard you know that's enough complaining i guess but um the bright side is all these tests are leading us somewhere finally um brayden we found out that he has a bacteria in his intestines uh and they are afraid that it has spread and who that one almost choked me up a little um they are afraid that it spread and if it has spread that could be the answer that we've been looking for maybe why everything else is is having problems um but if it spread the way that they fear then that could mean um it could mean some really bad things for him uh, as far as health goes, as far as treatment, as far as everything. Um, Braden, when he was younger, he had um, some underlying things going on. Apparently, they're things that don't necessarily go away, but they don't just respond to regular antibiotics. So we are having to fight this from the side and everything. Um, we are trying to stay at the Romanol house for as long as possible while we're going through all of this. However, some appointments are not in Charlotte. They are close enough to travel to, but they don't qualify since they are not in Charlotte. So we are trying our best to find the same type of doctors here. Braden has been referred to a endocrinologist, um, which I have not spoke with the doctor about this yet. So I don't know the necessary reason for that. I know that they are doing some testing with them. However, I don't know if Braden's test, as of right now, when this comes out, uh, I will know hopefully, but as of right now, when I'm making this video, I don't know um, if they've found something in his tests um, that's concerning and that's why they're sending us, you know, up the chain, I don't know. Um, they are wanting to do a hydrogen breath test uh, to see the level of bacteria, I guess, in his body. Um, this could, it, depending on what type of bacteria it is, it could spread, um, but it's not contagious as far as I understand. Uh, now, that is just basic knowledge off of what I've seen and experienced that none of us have any symptoms or anything like that. And then the doctor is telling us that most likely it's not contagious, that he has most likely had it for a very long time. Um, because of the issues that he's had and he's had these issues for a very long time for years. So if he's had this bacteria for that long of a time, his body could literally be, um, could be covered in this. Um, as you guys know, he has a heart condition. He has a lung problem. He has, um, numerous things that I could list here that could be devastating if that bacteria gets into so we are really focusing on that right now trying to take care of that um I don't know how long we're going to be here this video is a little bit um more monotone Silas than than um most of my videos because I try to make them fun and peppy but right now there's just nothing fun and peppy um I'm going to try to make a few videos talking about different things because I don't want to make very long videos. So you will see me again probably in the video after this, sitting here looking like this, going over something different. Um, but I don't want to keep you guys in the dark. Obviously, that was the whole entire point of this channel was to follow along Brandon's journey and stuff. And anything that happened other than that is a plus, right? Um, it has been hard it has been um draining uh right now we are traveling like i said we're having to do the back and forth we're having to like my husband's having to miss work because the back and forth is not working very well um it's just a hard situation you know and i could really use prayers please i will put the links here because i feel like i'm always putting the links and i don't want to keep doing that i don't want to act um or sound like i'm you know begging or something like that i just want to put it there and then if you can you can if you can't you can't it's 100 percent. please always think about us you know if you don't pray send us good vibes whatever you do um please do that for us um we could use all of it right now we could really use to be honest a miracle but um we are hoping that we are on the right path now so now all we do is just try to move forward right so I will update you guys when I know anything else and I'll see you guys in the next one.